when it comes to mobile gaming, the first thing that probably springs to mind is something like your phone or a Steam Deck or a Switch from Nintendo. What you probably don't think of, though, is the graphics calculator that you've had kicking around in your drawer for years. Like this one here from Texas Instruments, the TI-84+. Plus. And what you certainly don't think of, I would imagine, is playing Super Mario Brothers on it. But that's what we're going to do today. A quick shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video, PCB Way. Fancy building your own calculator? Well, head over to PCB Waste Projects pages where you'll find projects like this Sinclair Scientific Calculator Emulator. Just when you find your project, add it to your cart. Submit that. It's as simple as that. And why not add a case for it as well? And this is one that I've just found on the internet. But download the case file and they can even 3D print you a case for it as well. With PCBs from as little as $5 and 3D printing, they also do CNC machining. So check out PCBWare for your next project. I bought this calculator back in 2006 to help me with a university course that I was doing at the time. And with a black and white LCD screen, a 96 by 64 display. I would do lots of pretty graphs like this. Very exciting. I'm sure you would agree. But what I didn't use it for is playing games. Now I'm somewhat late to the part here because it would seem that people have been writing games for this for many, many years. And there's a vast array of games you can go out and find quick google search and get them downloaded onto your calculator and play them to your heart's content but are they any good i'm going to look at super mario brothers and i'll take you through the process of what you need to do if you've got a ti 84 plus like what i have if you've got the late edition with the color screen then there's, there's, even, there's even a version that caters for that, which, from looking online, looks absolutely brilliant. However, this is, this is what I've got, so this is what I'll be using. So let's have a look at this TI-84+. Let's see, let's see how simple or otherwise it is to get software onto it. And let's have a game of Super Mario Brothers and see how it performs. So the first thing we need to consider is getting data onto the machine, getting software on, and the connections are somewhat limited. We've got the USB Mini, I think the part is there. I always forget the names of uh, the different connectors. But we've got USB part there, and we've got proprietary Texas Instruments connector there, which we're not going to use that. We're going to use the USB cable and connect directly up to the PC. So we'll use we'll use one of those. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is download the software on your PC for the calculator. Quick Google of TI Connect will bring up the first two good results for you, hopefully. Now there's two versions of the software. There's the original TI Connect and there's the TI Connect CE. Now both will work for this calculator that I'm using, the TI-84+. Plus. However, what I found was that with the CE version, it didn't like some of the software that I was trying to transfer to it on the odd occasion. So when I tried the TI Connect, it worked absolutely fine. So if you're using the same calculator as me, Maybe you will have less of an issue using the older, but uh, perhaps more reliable version. Um, reliable, probably not the right word to use, but I had no issues using the TI Connect software. So if you go on the page and then just click on the download, or if you're going to use the CE version, it's, it's exactly the same, and get it installed onto your machine. And then from that, then we can look to plug the calculator in. Now here we've got the 
CE version of the TI Connect software open, and if we plug the calculator into the USB port, hopefully it will appear shortly, which it does. And if we click on that, we can see all the programs and stuff that's installed on the calculator. And then when we're looking to transfer stuff, we can click on the transfer button up at the top left, and then we can look to transfer the various games onto the machine. If you are using the TI Connect, it's a similar process. And then just there we'll select the appropriate device. Tell the software which calculator it's going to send stuff to. And then it's just a case of dragging and dropping files into there, which I'll show you shortly. So to run a lot of the games, we're going to need to download Mirage OS, which quick Google there takes us straight to it. And if we click on the download button, we've I've already downloaded it once, but you can see you see that it's downloaded there. And then that will need unzipping, which I've already done, and we've got Mirage OS there. And if we open it up and have a look at the files, there they all are. But that's that's the one that we need to transfer across. So if we now go back to our TI Connect app, we've got the little notes section selected there. And then if we click on this icon here to add content from the computer, and it's already, because I've already done this previously but if we select the Mirage OS and then we can send it straight to the calculator I'm not going to do it again because I've already done it but then you just click on send and it transfer across and that's it that's then installed on your calculator now a quick Google of Mario 2.0 for the TI-84 should bring you somewhere like this and I've not included the link just uh, just in case there's any copyright issues even though someone's coded this themselves from scratch um, yeah just click on the download obviously download the files and once they're downloaded we'll transfer them across now, having downloaded Mario 2.0, this is where I run into problems transferring it using TI Connect CE. And I'll show you what I mean here. If So these, these are the Mario files. This is the one that is right for my calculator. So if I go to send that to the calculator, it comes back as one of my files was invalid. So... This took me ages to get my head around. So if I go now into the original TI Connect, the calculator can be seen there. So let's just go back to home, send it to TI device, and that should be somewhere there. And I've already selected it here. And I can then just click and send to the device without any problem. Just make sure it's set to archive because you don't want to be sending it straight to RAM. A, if there's a battery failure, you'll forget it, and B, there really isn't much RAM on these things, so you do want to send it to archive. And then once that's there, it's, it's job done. And let's go and have a look at it on the calculator. So here we are then, back with the calculator. I'll do it from power on, so you can follow me exactly. So if you click on the Apps button, you will see you should have Mirage OS, which we need to launch. So just select that with the up and down arrows and then Enter. And we'll see we've got a main file folder. And then if we click on the blue second function, you see I've got a few games installed here. We've even got Doom, which is interesting but we're here to have a look at Mario so let's launch Mario and there we go Super Mario 
written by, written by Sam Heald. An impressive feat, to say the least. So click enter, and then you can select your world, and we'll just go for the first one. And controls are pretty straightforward. We've got the left and right arrows. We've got the blue button, second function to jump. And then if we get enough power-ups, we've got the green alpha button to shoot. What I found playing this is it's really very responsive. It is great fun to actually play. The movements you see with the key presses, very responsive. Oop, nearly fell to my death. Let's see how far we can get. Even the shells. Right, let's see if we can get over this thing. Testing my game playability here. Died again. Well, there we have it Super Mario on a graphics card collector, and it was surprisingly a lot of fun. I wouldn't necessarily say it's something I'd want to carry around with me to, to play games on. Uh, I wouldn't think of myself as being that weird. However, it's a lot of fun to do, and I hope you've enjoyed that, and consider having a go yourself if you have one of these lying around. I wouldn't necessarily dash out and buy one off eBay, though, just to do that. A quick thank you to my channel members. I've got two now. Can you believe that? Two. Brandon Leitner and James Hart, thank you both for your help in supporting my channel. If you would like to support me, there are links in the description. But regardless, thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll join me in another video soon. Bye for now.